Hi guys, I'm Trudy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to cope with stress while working in healthcare during a pandemic. Also guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I post a new video almost every Sunday, but for the most part, I try to post a new video every Sunday at 8 a.m. Now let's get into the video. While there are so much to be grateful for, as a healthcare worker working throughout this pandemic, we still have to talk about the stress that working in this pandemic has brought upon us. So if you work in a, wherever, in a nursing home, in a hospital, home care, you've seen firsthand the stress, you've felt firsthand the stress that working throughout this pandemic has brought about. So I work in a skilled nursing facility and I've seen first time what this pandemic, well, what the, well, I've seen first time what the level of stress this pandemic has brought upon, not just the staff, but also the patients. As a healthcare worker, we have to put our best foot forward. So it doesn't matter if we're having a good day or a bad day. We're expected to show up and just be just be there for our patients do the best we can do and sometimes because we're dealing with other things it might affect the level of care that we give our patient we're expected to give the best but if we're not at the best we can't really give something that we don't have uh, so a couple of weeks ago we had an in-service about how to cope with stress. It was such a relief because you realize that, wow, some of the things you might be experiencing, you're not alone. So I wanna give a few tips on how to cope with stress while working in this pandemic. So first you have to recognize the symptoms. So what are some of the symptoms? Some of the symptoms may be feeling overwhelmed feeling irritable, lacking motivation, having trouble concentrating. And if, let's say if you're a nurse, you're administering medication, you need to be focused and concentrated on really what you're doing. Because if you give your patient the wrong medication, God knows what can happen. And also, don't be embarrassed because you're feeling a little overwhelmed. We're all humans. Because I know some people, they have to worry about your kids like a lot of the kids are home now and the parents have to worry about zoom call meeting helping with assignment while at the same time focusing at work so these factors and other things can cause staff members or more specific healthcare workers to be a little bit overwhelmed and stressful and these tips are taken directly from the CDC website if you're feeling overwhelmed, what you should be doing is speaking with your co-worker, speaking with your supervisor, talk to somebody. Don't just be in a corner by yourself because if you don't express your feeling, it's going to reflect in your work and you don't want to be making mistakes with your patients. So definitely speak with your co-workers, speak with your supervisor, find somebody to speak with. And also remind yourself that everyone is in an unusual situation with limited resources. Because even the whole PPE situation, a lot of us were really overwhelmed with the whole PPE, with the whole PPE situation. Because what a lot of us were taught about PPE prior to entering a room with any kind of precautions, contact droplet, whatever, you done everything outside and then when you leave the room, you take it off. But when there were shortage of PPE, that wasn't the case. We couldn't just use one for one room. So things like that is gonna cause additional stress. And also another thing too, identify those things which you do not have control over. So we have no control over when this pandemic is gonna go away. Yes, we can do our part by, you know, not gathering in large groups, by following whatever guidelines are set by the CDC, but we still are limited. So, don't overstress about the things that you cannot control. And also, another thing you can do to help cope is 
keeping a consistent so if working out makes you feel better don't stop working out you don't you don't necessarily have to go to the gym because i know with social distancing some gyms you know have limited capacity something that i've been doing is i turn on youtube i find a nice 30 minutes workout with no equipment and that's really helpful so even though you might be used to going to the gym or whatever we can still find ways to go around keeping you know a consistent routine but don't just you know go to work and come home and just slap yourself down on the couch try to do something you know keep yourself a little active and another tip too is get adequate sleep even prior to covid like sleep is so important like if i don't get my eight hours i'm really grumpy yes i'm i'm like a whole lady i need my eight hours sleep but whatever whatever your normal time frame is if you're good with having six hours every day make it a point of your duty to get your six hours or if it's seven hours or if it's eight hours like me however amount but get adequate sleep sleep is so important for our overall well-being and health and another tip too is make time to eat healthy meals i know with covid a lot of us like we've all been eating but what have we been eating are we eating healthy meal or are we just you know stuffing our face with junks and all kind of garbage of course we can you know we like a little sweet or something unhealthy for us here and there it's the holiday season but still let's make it a point of our duty to eat healthy meals and another tip too is make time for mindful exercises such as meditation and deep breathing i personally love love meditation it just have that calming effect with you you know you're by yourself in a quiet space you just let your mind go so make time for like you know deep breathing exercises or meditation and also if you're feeling you know suicidal or overly stressed no way to go for help i will drop in the description box down below where you can find help and and the last and the last thing i want to leave with you guys is let's try to reach out to you know each other because some of us are better able to cope with different kind of stress than others so because i might be fine and i'm able to deal with whatever is going on that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone is coping as well as some of us might be okay guys that's it for this video thanks so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and please share this video with someone who you think it might help also please click the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video i post a new video every sunday thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one